I've played only about 6,000 concerts with a quartet. 6,000. And you learn uh, not from the people's praise, but from the people, from the critics and the people in the audience's criticism, you learn over the years what works and what doesn't work. It is my privilege to have them as my colleagues and my friends. Robert Mann, Earl Carlos, Samuel Rhodes, and Joel Krosnick. They are the best of American tradition and the best that chamber music has to offer. Deep arguments and unhappinesses uh, that was part of a quartet life. Being able and willing to play an idea that's not yours as though it were. The dum pum is very important, but I play the the first beat as a passive beat. Jesus, I've got a I've got a bum bum pa because I've got a forte forzando right every on single it. time that I have a diminuendo. I have a diminuendo. It got the quartets to work on my string quartet. And the Juilliard Quartet started by playing my second quartet, and beautifully. He says a very practical thing, but always very much connected with the music making. Music and the practical, uh, almost a technical thing, are together to make the music. Beautiful. Now you join them. Don't watch your pizzicality. Gorgeous. Not too soft. Lots of bow. Don't get, don't get back into that old friend. Nikki and I played this piece I wrote for Lisa's wedding. So it's called a wedding invocation. Um, that piece that he wrote was, I don't know, that was just so dad. I mean, like, you know, he created, that's who he was. He created he, this piece for us. The inspiration that I, I got from Mr. Mann was speak the music, shape the music, show the design of the phrase. <laughs> In Beethoven, we felt that Beethoven really was this absolutely dramatic, uh, aggressive person who wasn't compromising his expression. And so we played in a way that almost all the great quartets besides us didn't play. And so the critics said, they don't understand what they're doing. The kinds of things that change it, like I referred to blood going in your veins, should also be in all kinds of movement. So try and think that way, that music is not just stationary and you're, you know, following a beat. I had teachers, many teachers who said, ah, you're making, you're making a cello on or ah, you should follow the metronome, ah, 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 and, and they, they're dead. I'm still alive, so I'm <laughs> good. <laughs>